What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be opening up for you the Ipsy Glam Bag for February of 2021. Plus I have a couple add-ons I want to show you guys as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. Alright guys, if you are new here, welcome. I'm Jackie and today I'm going to be opening up for you guys the Ipsy Glam Bag for February of 2021. Now if you're unaware of what Ipsy is, the Glam Bag I'm going to be showing you guys today is $12 a month. You get five deluxe size samples and you get to choose one product every month. Now what I like about the Glam Bag subscription is, you know, I just love deluxe size samples. I mean, you can like put them in the little cosmetic bag that you get and you can throw them in your purse and when you're at work, you can like touch up your makeup and so I, I just love deluxe size samples. Also with traveling, I mean, your girl here has a ton of deluxe size samples. If you're like me and you hate checking a bag and you take a carry-on, deluxe size samples are the absolute most perfect thing to throw in your travel case and take on the plane with you because I'm just gonna let you all know, I hate checking a bag. So when I start traveling again, your girl is set with samples. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump in to the actual bag for the glam bag. Now there were two different options. I wanted the striped, you know, bag. It was a very cute color scheme. I didn't get that one, of course, but that's okay because the other one is just as cute. It is a red bag with a gold lip closure. And when you flip the bag over, it looks just like an envelope. You've got your Ipsy stamp up here, you know, all your postage, and it says sealed with a kiss. This is absolutely perfect for February. You know, February is Valentine's Day, February is love. So this fits the bill for sure. So the first thing I'm pulling out is the card, which shows us the theme for the month, which, which is send love. When you open up this card, it's gonna be all about the products that we're receiving. So let's go ahead and get started with the first thing. The first thing I'm pulling out here is by Farah. This is a flat top foundation brush. And this is brush number 615F. This is the full size, it retails at $16, and this is supposed to give you a no streak, no caking kind of coverage, just you know, smooth, all over, even coverage. Now I'm not gonna take the plastic off because I'm more of a beauty blender kind of gal. I don't really use foundation brushes that much, but when I do, I do have a couple that I, I do use here and there. So I'm probably not gonna get much use out of this. So I'm actually gonna put this aside and give this to somebody. Looks like a nice product. If you've ever used a Farah makeup product, you know, like a brush or any of their other makeup products, let me know how they are because I've never used anything by that brand. So the next thing I have here is by Pixie by Petra. This is a eyeliner pencil. And this is supposed to give you the intensity of a liquid liner with the ease of a pencil. This is supposed to hold up against water, sweat, and humidity. And this does retail at $12. So this seems to be more of a rose gold like shimmery shade. This is actually a duplicate for me. I did receive this in a previous Ipsy bag, uh, like I think like a couple bags ago, and I haven't even opened it or used it. I kind of gravitate more towards, you know, the darker shades, the smoky shades. So I'm probably gonna give this to somebody because I haven't even opened the other one that I got yet. So I'm probably not gonna be opening this one either. So I will put this aside for someone as well that I know will get more use out of it than me. So the next thing I'm pulling out here is by the brand Love You First. This is a stunning eyeshadow duo, and this is the shade Blackberry and Lilac. So let's go ahead and take a look at the shade. Now, the full size of this does retail at $10.99, and it looks like we've got a shimmer and we've got a matte here. Now, I'm not gonna swatch it because I'm also gonna give this away as well. I already have a couple shades like this in other palettes, and I don't want this to just kind of sit in my makeup drawer because, again, I'm probably not gonna use this since I already have, you know, couple shades like this already so I am gonna put this aside for someone but it does say here that it is very pigmented highly blendable and it does not have parabens or talc in it so the next thing I have here is by the brand Jersey Shore Cosmetics this is the star mint glossy balm so this is just a lip balm that also gives you a glossy finish and this retails at $10 this is the full size this does have refreshing peppermint and essential oils in it now, I've never used anything from Jersey Shore Cosmetics. I mean, I love the name. I love the show Jersey Shore. If y'all love the show Jersey Shore, let me know down below. I've been following that show for what, like 10 years they've been on the air. So I don't know much about Jersey Shore Cosmetics, but I know about the show. So anyway, moving on. So this definitely looks like something that I would 
absolutely love because first I love peppermint and secondly I wear lip balms all the time every day all day now I'm not going to open it and try it because I do have two that I'm kind of going back and forth between right now that I'm wearing um, so I'm not gonna open this one yet but when those are done I am definitely gonna be wearing this one for sure all right, so let's go ahead and move on to the last product in the bag. And this is actually the product that I picked for the month of February. And that product is NARS. So this is a power matte lip pigment in the shade Star Woman. The full size of this does retail at $26. And this is basically an award-winning lip pigment. It is super moisturizing and it goes on weightless and dries to a smudge proof matte finish. And it is a totally classic color. And I know that without even opening it because I purchased it numerous times. So let me go ahead and show you guys the packaging on the inside. Here is what the packaging looks like. And I like that pack the packaging because you can see the shade right here. And it's just, it's such a nice, nice shade. I love red shades and when I wear them, I'm always getting NARS. They just have a great lip product. It's very, it's not super dry. It applies very nicely. Now I am gonna let you guys know of a little trick real quick before I swatch it for you. This is actually something that I do before I apply my lipsticks. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills lip primer. Now I put this lip primer on first for numerous reasons. I think it helps to last, make it last longer. And I also think that it helps to give that even added, more added moisturizer to the lip product. So I just think that this lip primer is just amazing. Now you can find this at Ulta for $16 retail and it does last you a while. A little does go a long way. And I mean, you guys, this to me is like everything. When I'm wearing like a lip, you know, a liquid lip or like a highly pigmented shade, I'm definitely all about putting this primer on first. So that's just my suggestion for me what works. But let me go ahead and swatch this NARS shade for you guys so that you can see how amazingly gorgeous this is. This is such a beautiful shade. For me, I'm more of a classic red girl. I do like the deeper tones, but I'm just, I'm all about the classic red. So let me know what you guys think. If you ever tried the NARS liquid lip pigments, let me know what you thought of them. You know, I do really like that they dry down to like a matted shade. So I think that that's really nice. All right, so that was everything for the bag. Let me know what you guys thought of the bag down below. Now this bag is set to be valued at at least $50, and I can definitely see that based on the full size retail product pricing of everything. And I would definitely say that of everything, my favorite product that came in the bag, of course, was my choice product, which was the NARS Liquid Lip Pigment. All right, so. I do have two add-ons, or actually two add-ons and a something I redeemed with points that I wanna show you guys. And the first thing that I wanna share with you is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. So this is actually something that I added on. And the reason I did this was because I currently use Estee Lauder foundation and I'm just over it. I've been using that foundation for what feels like a million years. I mean, probably at least over five years. It's a great foundation and everything. You know, if it wasn't, I wouldn't have been using it for so long, but you know, you just, you know how you just get tired of using the same thing over and over, you know, it's like time to make the donuts, you know, it's the same repetitive thing over and over and I just get bored. So I really wanted to try something new and I've kind of been on the hunt for a new foundation. Now I have seen some that I kind of like, you know, I have some, you know, in my mind that I'm going to probably, you know, purchase. But when I saw this makeup forever, I thought, you know, I like their products. I've never tried their foundation. Let me go ahead and give it a try. So I actually got the shade Y218, you know, whatever that means because there's no shade names, it's just numbers. And it, I do believe that this was supposed to be more of a neutral shade based on the description, like on the Ipsy um, site. And it is, but I definitely think I need to mix this with another shade because I think that this is just not really my shade. Definitely keep you guys posted on how this works out. And yeah, so let's go ahead and move on to my other add-on. So the next add-on that I'm pulling out here is by Glow Recipe, and this is an ultra-fine face mist in watermelon. So combining two things that I love, face mists and watermelon, I thought, why not give this a try? So this is supposed to be an ultra, ultra-fine mist with hyaluronic acid and hibiscus and a blend of watermelon. So it's supposed to refresh, soften, and enhance makeup. I've already took this out of the bag. I've already used it. 
and I don't like it at all. And that, I'm really sad about that because I was super excited. I like the packaging. The packaging is really nice. I think it's, it's cute, but I don't like the product. It has a very fine hint of watermelon to it, but the mist is, is fine. So they're, they're right on that, but it's so fine that I feel like I have to spray my face for like five minutes straight just to get some hydration and I don't feel like it lasts. Now me personally, I use like three different types of things, you know, for hydration and setting makeup. Um, actually four things I have, I use my Mac, um, fix it. It's like prep prime and fix it. So I use that. Um, I use my Mario Badescu. I don't even think I'm saying that right, but the rose water that I use that all the time for hydration. I use Murad. Um, I also use my urban decay to set makeup as well. So I really wanted to try something new and this definitely did not hold up against those. So I've never tried anything from Glow Recipes, so I, I was kind of disappointed, but I'm willing to give you know other products from them a shot and kind of see like maybe it's just like a one-off kind of thing. But let me just kind of spray this for you guys just so that you can see like that it is a super fine mist. So what I did first was I just kind of shook it up and then I just sprayed it. Okay. So, I mean, you, you, get a, you get a mist for sure. And I know I sprayed a lot on, but I like a lot of hydration. And it was such a fine mist that I felt like I had to keep spraying and spraying it. For me, when I wore it, I felt like shortly after, it just kind of dried my face out a little. So I feel like any hydration that I got from it was just like, uh, like one and done, like immediate. And then after that, it was a wrap after that. So that made me sad, but you know what? I'm happy because I think I only paid $12 for it. So I would have rather paid $12 in the full retail price if I actually bought it on their site. So that worked out. But I have one last thing to show you guys, and that is the um, the product that I added on with, well, with points. The crazy thing about this was is I redeemed this product in January and it just came to me. So this I think was something I redeemed for 600 points. This is the Touch and Soul Soul Velvet Lipstick. And let me go ahead and show you guys the actual lipstick itself. So here is the packaging for the actual lipstick. And the shade, it's supposed to be a rose shade online. It looked a lot like lighter pink, like more of a hot pink kind of thing than what it actually looked like to me when I received it. So it's still a pretty color. I mean, I really don't know if this is something that I will wear all the time. I mean, I'll rock it here and there. But with that being said, that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know what you thought about the add-ons. If you tried any of these products, let me know what you thought down below. And I will put the link also in my description box for you guys if you wanna go on to Ipsy's website and check them out. And well, if you like the video, go ahead and hit the like button. Don't forget to share, subscribe, and always hit that notification bell. Well, you guys know the drill. I will see all of you in my next video. I hope all of you have a great rest of your day. Until next time, bye guys.